Given this particular production function, let's find the long run total cost curve. Now, long run total cost is going to be the wage times the amount of labor plus the rental rate of capital times the amount of capital. And in the long run, um, both labor and capital can be chosen, so total cost is just going to be a function of output. So what we'll need then is to substitute in for L and K, meaning we need our input demand curves. And for this particular production function, we've already found them in a previous lesson, um, the input demand curves algebraically, LBD 7.4, you can look it up. Here's what we found uh, in that screencast. So what I'll do is I'll take my total cost equation, WL plus RK, and I'll substitute in for L and K. Now I'm going to look at this and see if I can do some simplifying. Well, there's a Q over 50 in both of these terms, so that's something that I'm going to be able to pull out to the front. And these exponents here, so that's really R to the 0.5 over W to the 0.5. And then in the second term, it's w to the 0.5 over r to the 0.5. The other thing we'll look at is here, okay, well, we've got a w out in front. That's really w to the 1. And then in the denominator, we've got w to the 0.5. So I'll be able to combine those and the same thing with the r terms. So doing that, I collect the q over 50 out in front. And I get w to the 0.5 times r to the 0.5 plus r to the 0.5 times w to the 0.5. Now those two terms, notice I can actually just change their order. And there's two of them when I add together. So total cost right now is Q over 50 times 2W to the 0.5, R to the 0.5. Little more simplifying I can do here. That 2 and that 50 are going to simplify to 25 in the denominator. And this is our total cost e expression. Now this is for the long run where we could choose both labor and capital. Let's suppose we've got a wage rate of 25 and the rental rate of capital is 100. I can plug that information in and get the particular cost curve for that wage and capital price. So all I need to do is plug into my calculator 25 uh, to the 0.5 and 100 to the 0.5. I've got that 25 in the denominator and it simplifies nicely to 2Q. Now, this is going to be our total variable cost, right? In the long run, there are no fixed costs. So my total cost in the long run is the same as my total variable cost.